In this video, I am going to show you how to install Flutter on macOS. Flutter gives you a lot of flexibility when creating apps and it's free and open source. You can install it on Windows, Mac and Linux. In this video, I will guide you through the steps to install Flutter on macOS. That means we will first review the system requirements, download the Flutter SDK, update the path variable, install Xcode, install Android Studio and accept the Android licenses. If you are interested in installing Flutter on Windows, check this video. The link will be in the description below. To start with the installation, you will first go to flutter.dev. Once you're here, click on the Get Started button. This will bring you to the install page. As you can see, there are many options. But since in this video we will focus on macOS, we will click this button. There are not many requirements to install Flutter on Mac. Just make sure that you have the minimum disk space and that you are running a 64-bit version of macOS. If your OS is Catalina or Big Sur, you have a 64-bit version. If you already have Xcode installed, you probably have Git also. If you don't, don't worry. We will install Xcode and Git later. Also, if your Mac has an M1 processor, check these supplementary notes. Now that we are sure that our system meets the minimum requirements, let's move to the next step, which is downloading the Flutter SDK. For that, we will click this big blue button here. For those of you who don't know, SDK stands for Software Development Kit, and it's a group of tools, libraries, and documentations that are necessary to develop applications. Just like we have the Android SDK or macOS SDK, we have Flutter SDK, which allows us to make applications for mobile, web, and desktop from a single code base. It's done downloading. Let's extract it. While extracting, let's go to the user home folder and create a new folder. We will call it development. Now, let's move the extracted folder to the one we just created. Now that we have the Flutter SDK downloaded and extracted, the next thing to do is to add the Flutter slash bin folder to the path variable. We need to do that because we don't want to write out the entire Flutter slash bin path in the terminal every time we want to run a Flutter command. For that, we could use this command but as mentioned here, this command sets the path variable for the current terminal window only. To permanently add Flutter to the path variable, you will need to create an RC file in the current user home folder if you don't already have it. And as explained here, the name of this file will depend on the shell you are using. To know which shell you are using, just open the terminal. Look at the top or run this command, echo dollar shell. In my case, I am using a Z shell. That means I will have to create a .zshrc file. We can do that using the touch command. So now, if we go to the home folder and hit command shift dot, we can see the file that we just created. Let's open it, copy this command, and paste it. Here, we will replace this part by the path of the bin folder inside the Flutter SDK. Let's go to the bin folder, copy the path and paste it here. Now that we have updated the path variables, let's close that and run this command to refresh the terminal. Or you can just close the terminal and reopen it. Now let's test to see if we can run a Flutter command. Don't install Git for now, we will install it later with Xcode. If you see a screen like this one, that means the Flutter SDK is installed. Now, let's run the Flutter Doctor command to see what is missing to complete the installation. As you can see, we are missing the Android SDK, Xcode for iOS development, and if we want to develop for the web, we will need to install Chrome. Let's start with Xcode. To download and install the latest version of Xcode, we will click this link that will redirect us to the Mac App Store. If you have another version of macOS, check this table on Wikipedia to see which Xcode version is compatible with it. Then, you can find another version of Xcode here. The links will be in the description. Now, let's click Get, then Install. Connect using your Apple ID, then the download should start. Depending on your internet speed and computer system performance, this may take some time, so be patient. A few moments later. 
To complete the Xcode installation, we need to run those two commands. They will configure the Xcode command line tools, install additional components, and allow us to accept Xcode license agreements. Press return to view the license agreement, then space to scroll down. Type agree to accept the licenses. We also need to install CocoaPods to allow us to use Flutter packages with native iOS codes. To confirm that everything is okay for Xcode, let's run Flutter Doctor again. As you can see, Xcode is checked. Now, for Android, it is saying Unable to locate Android SDK. The easiest way to install the Android SDK is to install Android Studio. For that, let's go back to the Flutter website and click this link. On this page, you will click on Download Android Studio. Read and accept the terms and conditions, then click Download Android Studio for Mac. Depending on your internet speed, this may take some time. Now that the download has completed, let's start the installation. This is pretty straightforward. Just move the Android Studio app to the application folder, then launch Android Studio to finalize the installation. Click Open. After that, just click OK or Next to accept all the default options. Here, this is where we are actually installing the Android SDK. Click Finish to continue and wait for the installation to complete. A few moments later. Once you see that screen, that means you have installed Android Studio and the Android SDK is on your Mac. Don't close this for now, we will need it later. Now, let's go back to the terminal and run Flutter Doctor again to verify what we are still missing. As you can see, it says Android licenses status unknown. To fix that, we will copy this command, Flutter Doctor Android licenses, and run it. If you encounter this error, just go back to the Android Studio welcome page and click Configure at the bottom right corner and choose SDK Manager. Make sure Android SDK is selected in the left, then go to the SDK Tools tab. Here, select Android SDK command line tools, then apply. Choose Accept at the bottom, then Next. Click Finish, then OK. Now, going back to the terminal, let's run this command again. If you accept, just tap Y then return. Now, all Android licenses have been accepted. Let's run Flutter Doctor again. The only thing missing now is Google Chrome. If you want to develop for the web, you need to have Chrome installed. For that, go to Chrome website and click Download Chrome. Choose Intel chip or M1 chip depending on your system. The download is completed. Now, let's install it. Again, just move the Google Chrome app to the application folder. Now, we have installed Google Chrome. Let's run Flutter Doctor one last time to verify that everything is checked. No issues found. Everything is good to go. Since you made it so far, please give us a like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for future content.